hello so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair this is a dell laptop g3 15 nvidia graphic i7 9 gen cpu pressing the power button that now let's read the customer email what the customer is saying dell g3 15 power supply blue light goes off to when plugged into the laptop i think i remember you fixing this fault in a past video and indeed we fix this kind of fault so basically if you plug like a genuine charger here yeah, which has a, a blue light ring if it's going off very clearly your main power led is shorted so i'm not gonna plug the charger i will say let's open the laptop and check inside now what could be the problem can be some MOSFET from a power supply, can be a shorted pizza somewhere, yeah. We're gonna find out together. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice mother word. Huh? Can you spot anything? We have nice chipset there, we have the EC chip here, BIOS battery. Uh, first, let's check the main power rail. So where we are checking the main power rail, they have like coil, chip, capacitor, as you can see here. So capacitor here, zero ohms, here, zero ohms. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? Disconnecting the battery, no really point. So uh, let's come with low voltage. Yeah. We need a ground and here it's okay and plus on the capacitor and we need a thermal camera and we have the thermal camera here so uh, i'm gonna come with the power exactly on this capacitor here uh, here and it's taking 600 milliamps and i can't see anything on the motherboard Huh? No, no, nothing is getting hot. You think the RAM is getting hot? No, no. Let's uh, raise the current. So I'm going to raise the voltage and the current is going to two amps. But still I can't see anything. Okay, let's take a break and take out the heatsink. Remember the components under pressure are usually, of course, near the power supply, but probably CPU and GPU are the most stressed uh, parts from the laptop. So if I'm looking here, probably here is the RAM power supply, here is the 3.3 and 5 volts. No, really. But here, yeah. And the heatsink, it's out. Yeah. This is the original thermal paste here. So what about now? Now I'm going to come with the current exactly on the same spot. So coming with current exactly there. And it's taking like one amp. And what is getting hot is... What is that? One second. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> you know what is that? Is... Is this one. And it's not that bad. I'm going to tell you why it's not that bad. Because that's a monolithic driver. And I know this monolithic driver, yeah? Uh, when it's getting shorted, because check here, check here, yeah? You see the monolithic driver getting getting hot, right? Okay, this one is shorted to ground. It's not shorted through the, the GPU, because you'll see the GPU getting hot. But you don't see, you, you see, the GPU has the same color, it's cold. So the GPU is not shorted, because this is a very smart, uh, a very smart uh, monolithic driver, has a catastrophic catastrophic uh, detection circuit so usually the high side MOSFET is getting shorted 
in the next cycle, he will switch to ground the, the low side MOSFET and it will protect the output. It's not the first time I'm, find, I'm finding this monolithic driver actually saving uh, whatever is connected to the output, the CPU or the GPU. So let's take out the Wi-Fi card because it's near. And let's replace the chip. Now we have to disconnect the battery. The battery is disconnected. Uh, what monolithic driver it is? A694. A694. Yeah, that's the one. Hot air. 100, uh, 480 degrees. I mean, we can see that like a solder ball, you can see it, yeah. But what is this? It's not liquid damage, no. Capacitor is moving. And the monolithic driver, it's out. Now here is some uh, missing solder. So I'm gonna bring some uh, soldering uh, wire, 180 degrees. I'm pretty sure I have this chip. Rosin, Rosin is good, expensive, but good. Solder wire, perfect, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think we need more heat from the hot air. You see the solder is not getting, yeah. Yeah, perfect. More rosin. Yeah, fantastic. Now let's find a driver, another chip. Yeah, definitely we can find one on uh, my box. Actually, I have brand new. Yeah, we do have brand new. I can't believe. A690. Okay, it's not the same. It's not the same. A690. Okay, it's not the same. A694. Check it out. Brand new. Can you believe that? A brand new chip on my box. Can't believe. So, uh, yeah, we do have a brand new chip here. To replace, yeah, definitely a brand new one. P number one, we have no idea where, but the ground pins are here on the top. You can see them, yeah, all together. You can, you know, you can't see them. Ground pins, you see here, here, yeah. So we know the chip position like that, perfect. Hot air. Perfect, and the chip, it is soldered properly. We have some extra solder. Good, so it is looking good. Uh, checking for short, not sure if it's any point checking for short, but we can check just to be sure. So, uh, ground plus, plus is not short as you can see. I'm not gonna replace the thermal paste now. 
because like I said on the last video we have to ask the customer you know clean the fans the heat sink replacing the thermal paste we can do like a proper service after that um, I want to test it Wi-Fi card is there and that's why let's plug the battery the pro battery probably is disconnected because the main power rail was shorted and I really doubt it will work with uh, my adapters my adapter 19 volts a uh, lot of current so plug in the charger and it's taking some current one amp ha huh. actually charging with my charger we have backlight on the keyboard. Huh? What about picture? Can I get some picture? 800 milliamps. I believe someone reset the board. I uh, reset the BIOS because the, the laptop came on straight away. So it's not a charging current. It's the fact the laptop is on. The laptop is rebooting, which is a good thing. Yeah, Remember? Yeah, you can feel it hot. So the laptop, it will start by itself when you reset the BIOS. So we here we have like a coin BIOS battery. It will take a while to load the BIOS. No, it's not charging. No, no, it's not charging with my charger. The laptop is rebooting again. You can see it. It's not charging with my charger. Because of the charger ID pin, yeah. But it is running on my charger. We have picture, huh? Ha! Can't believe! Uh, we have few errors. Yeah, someone, uh, someone reset the BIOS. Like I said. Wait, I can't see the M2 drive here. Oh, this one, the small one. Oh, okay. And... It's loading the windows. Yeah, the laptop it is working. I mean, this is a win 100%. Every time when you have a shorted component, like a shorted MOSFET, no, shorted MOSFET you cannot have. Because a MOSFET, a high side MOSFET, it will be shorted and it will send, the main part it will send it to the output. But when you have this kind of monolithic drivers, yeah, which they are sacrificing themselves, their self, and the output is safe, it's isolated, it will work 100%. Yeah, and the laptop it is only show me the charging sign, but it's not really charging. Because of my charger, of course. No even point trying to pull up my original charger to test it. Because the fault was clear. Let me shut it down. And the laptop is switching off. Waiting for the backlight to go off. And we can, uh, yeah, we can put the Wi-Fi card back. Uh... We found on the past, once on a on a ASUS laptop, was some ASUS Zen book, I believe, and once on a Dell laptop, was a proper new one, the Alienware, and we had the same like monolithic drivers, and on the other cases was all on the CPU, and the CPU was still good. So yeah, if you have uh, this kind of fault and this kind of problem, I'm uh, pretty sure. Re just replacing the chip, uh, it will bring the laptop to life. Huh? So what do you think, hard? Not that hard, right? No. We follow the path like always, yeah? Figure it out where is the main power rail coming with uh, low voltage on the main power rail and see which, uh, which one is shorted. This is a happy case. I'm happy I uh, helped the customer. I'm going to stop now. I'll say, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.